Hi, it's a beautiful day in Cota de Casa. And if you headed up to the golf course on San Miguel, you can't help but notice these pretty flowers. These yellow flowers are called New Gold Lantana. It's a variety of the flowering plant, Lantana chimera. Now the plants of Lantana chimera genus and species are very pretty. They're easy to grow. They make great ground cover when you have a larger open area where you need plants to stay green all year. It's a perennial shrub. It can grow up to six feet tall to form dense thickets. And under the right conditions, it can also scramble up trees. So Lantana is a native to Central and South America. It's strictly an ornamental plant. In the 1840s, the French began to cultivate these into many varieties and many, many different colors that we'll see today. Now there's over 150 different varieties of this lantana. It's spread across the globe in more than 50 countries worldwide. We have several of them in Cota de Casa that I'll share with you today. Now, even though it's very pretty, it's also very invasive. It's also poisonous, and it's really a detriment to a lot of the other flowers and trees and organisms in our community. It's a very pretty butterfly. The flowers of this plant are the most interesting part of it. They are small and tubular shaped. There's four petals. They've got like a tutti fruity smell with a peppery undertone. A lot of people don't like the smell. And they're very effective at producing pollen and attracting pollinators. Now, the flowers are very small, so they need to get together in clusters like this to look like a big flower so the pollinators will come and not pass them up. Now, Lantana is very invasive. It's considered a weed in many countries. It's a big weed in Florida and especially in Hawaii. And this butterfly here is doing his job as a pollinator. And this butterfly just flew away. This variety of Lantana is called a lemon drop. And I'll show you why. Here is the cluster of flowers of the lemon drop. And if you take a look at one individual flower, you can kind of see that, well, what else are you going to call it? But a lemon drop. It's got the pretty white outside and the little yellow inside. Now, some of these are a little more yellower than the others, but they're all lemon drops. This is our West Indian variety of Lantana Camara. It's very popular in local gardens and patios and also indoor pots. This plant is also an evergreen. It blossoms in yellow, orange, pink, and purple. It blossoms from May to October. Now, the leaves are very coarse, hairy, dark green. All parts of this plant are poisonous. So don't eat it. And this particular variety of lantana is not as hardy as the others, so it cannot withstand the winter months very well. Now in Kodo, we don't really have winter months, but if you have this plant back east or in the Midwest, typically the owners will bring them in during the winter months to keep them alive and then put them back out in the um, summer. Now here we have the, what's called pink berry, Lantana camera variety. With the mint sort of leaves all around it. Here. And over here. Here's another Lantana. Now, I'm gonna guess it's still just a West Indian one, but it's very purple. So when I talk about the berries, Here's what we have. These are the berries from the Lantana camera. 
and this is what's very tasty to the birds. The birds will eat these, they're full of seeds, and when the birds uh, have their droppings, they'll just um, spray the seeds all over, all over town. And the seeds will, of course, germinate and spread their invasive species all around Kodo or wherever you live. And you'll see this particular plant is just covered with berries. These little uh, blueberries, the green ones are going to ripen. We've got some down here, over here, a whole bush over here. Now on Cantamar, we've got two more varieties of lantana. We've got this incredible looking purple guy. And we also have this white variety. And this here is a trailing lantana. It's a lantana monte fidensis. And it's um, got these great purple flowers. Whole different sort of color. And the leaves almost look like they're mint. See these leaves here, they're very tiny. And they almost look like mint. Now here's a close up of the flowers of the trailing lantana. Absolutely fantastic. It's got four petals like the others. Beautiful, beautiful plant, but it's still an invasive species, so you know, you can't love it too much. Now still on Cantamar, this lantana is Lantana involucrata. It's also known as a button sage. Now this is native to American tropics. It's widespread in well-drained areas. Also found in the Galapagos Islands and Bermuda. It has the same mint-like leaves, just like the previous one we just saw. Here's another clump of West Indian lantana. Now it's here on my hillside all alone, which tells me that this plant was probably not planted here. In fact, it's probably just a dropping from a bird that happened to germinate and become invasive on the hillside. So that's the problem with these uh, lantanas. And here's some new gold lantana also pretty much alone on this hillside so probably not planted probably just germinated from a bird's dropping with some seeds in it